Hey guys, so all my EGX footage is stored on this camcorder here and I can't get it off because I don't actually have a USB port with a laptop and editing software so uh, the EGX video is gonna um, be quite a bit delayed um, until I can get home and actually edit it together but once I do that will be out on the main channel but for now here is my um, post EGX haul and sort of like roundup of it so let's talk about EGX. EGX was the very first convention that I went to. I didn't actually announce it. Oh my god, my hair's a mess. I didn't announce it on Twitter or anything just because I wanted the first one to be just with friends. I did live stream a little bit, but uh, the Wi-Fi there wasn't that great. And it was probably because everyone was like using it at the same time. I'm just going to move the camera over a little bit. There you go. Just because uh, it's picking up the TV there. Uh, I'm currently in a hotel room. Um... In the middle of nowhere, help! <laughs> We've got a lovely purple light there. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, you know what? You know you can see you can see it. Very nice mood lighting. So, EGX was the first sort of convention I went to, and honestly, it was amazing going with all my friends. Uh, big shout outs to all of them. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, you're probably actually watching this. Uh, for some reason, even though you went there with me. So I'm just going to get out the uh, guidebook because I can't really use the app. So EGX, uh, I'll show this off later as well. But where is the guidebook? Bloody hell. So there you go, EGX rezzed. So there was a lot of stuff to do at the event. Uh, I got to play a lot of games and I'm just going to go through some of them because I can't actually remember them off by heart. So... Um, we went to the... I'm just going to try and do it in chronological order, so sorry if I do miss anything out. Um, but this is how I experienced. So we went into the uh, the first area, which was the Unreal booth, I'm pretty sure. We started in the Unreal booth and then worked our way around the convention. So we started in the Unreal booth, we played Bus Simulator, which was a lot of fun. And I also played this space game. Now, I don't know what it was called. Maybe it's in the book. I'm not too sure. Do they list games in the book? They might do, but it was in the Unreal. Oh, here we go. So, Unreal. Da, 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 da. It was called Everspace. Now, Everspace was kind of like an FTL in 3D. It was honestly like really, really cool. Uh, I also played a game called Hyper Parasite, I think it was. Yeah. And it's sort of like a twin stick shooter arcade kind of like dungeon crawler. It was honestly, I like the art style of it. Um, and also in the Unreal booth, we played, uh, what was it? Guntastic. No, Guntastic was the sort of multiplayer couch co op. Oh my god. The multiplayer couch co op, which I love about games. It's honestly. So much fun. If you got to play at the event, then <laughs> honestly, um, you know how fun it is. Uh, it's not out yet, but it's coming out soon. So check that out. Went over to the indie booth next and is it the indie basement? I'm not too sure. Let me have a look, Let's see. So yeah, it was the indie room. Okay, so there is a lot of games in the indie room. So, we played, I don't even know, there was so many. There was a Nintendogs kind of game for Switch. I didn't personally play this, but I know uh, two of my friends did. They absolutely loved it. It's like the Nintendogs on 3DS. Honestly, they said it was worth it. Um, I'll go over some of these games in more detail. We played Breakfast Club, which was a lot of fun. Uh... What was it? I'm trying to think of it. There were two games which I played, which... One of them was like a Subway Surfers kind of thing, which is pretty cool, except there's no microtransactions, which is always a plus. Another one was like a first-person shooter. I think it was called Dimension Hunter. And that was obviously like really cool. It reminded me a lot of Doom. Um, what else was there? Sorry, I'm just looking through the uh, list. Da -da 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 that's all I can remember. There was a, a load of more games that were in there, uh, which I'm not remembering. Wavy the Rocket. Um, 
so Wavy the Rocket was uh, quite a unique game. So you had to control like the amplitude of like a wave to get through the level and you like shrink and expand it. I think that's what it was. It might, I might be confused with another game. But Wavy the Rocket was a certainly unique, one of the more unique games at the at EGX. Um, other than that, I'm looking at the games list and nothing's like really s coming out at me, like leaping out of the page. Oh, Typing Chronicles, Nanotail Typing Chronicles. I didn't actually play this, but I saw uh, a lot of people play it. It's like a typing sort of like RPG and I really enjoyed what I saw of it. Um, then we moved on to oh, Idea Xbox, I'm pretty sure. Where's the map? Oh, I'm getting confused. Uh, Idea Xbox had some really uh, good games. They had uh, Enter the Gungeon DLC, which uh, my friend Liam played. Uh, Hyper Rule Tournament, which was a lot of fun. I go over that more in a second. Uh, Supermarket Shriek was a good one. I didn't play that myself. A Family Man. Um, my Time at Porsche. Just games which either me or my friend played, which... You know, was a lot of fun. Um, and that's pretty much all I played in the idea Xbox. I'm trying to think of another one. There was a game which I played, but I do not remember off the top of my head. It's like a cool, sort of like anime quest kind of thing. I played it with someone. Um, and there was two controls at the booth, but it wasn't a two-player game, which was kind of like a letdown. Cat Quest 2 as well. Because uh, we all love cats. <laughs> um, I think then we moved on to the developer session for Sea of Thieves. I'm trying to like think this through. So let me just pull out the route. So, gosh, maps are so confusing. Yeah. So we went to the developer session for Sea of Thieves. Obviously, I can't talk about any of it. But uh, a lot of stuff is in the works for the anniversary update. I also got some codes, which I'll show you later on. Then from there, we just kind of explored the convention a lot. Um, went down to the basement area and uh, played some games down there. I think in the indie basement, I, ca I think it's called. If I can find the map again. I just lost the map. Wow, I'm so bad. Ugh. Okay, yeah, so we went down to the Indie Basement Room. A lot of really good games in there. Um, NYC Bungie was a, um, a big highlight. I didn't personally go on it, but I've got footage of my friends going on it. Um, that was obviously, uh, for many people, sort of the headline game there. It's a really good VR game. And I, I, I think, it, is it out? I don't know. It might, may or may not be um, available to download. Uh, checked out some of the other smaller things, like Insert Coin Clothing, always good. Um, AMD, Porsche. I uh, didn't play any games in them because uh, the queues were massive. Um, didn't actually play any Switch games. I don't know why. Just, the Switch games there weren't up my... Uh, Alley. I mean, there was Untitled Goose Game, which I heard was quite good. But other than that, I didn't really pl play that. In fact, no, not at all. I didn't play any Switch at all. Uh, we went round uh, once more, see if we could find any other stuff. Any Rock Paper Shotgun booth was some really interesting games. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but there's one which I actually got a card for, and I'll go over that in the sort of where I go through my merch and what I got in just a second. Um, but that's all there was to it. Um, I'm obviously skipping over so much, um, but there's only so much you can remember. Oh yeah, I went on the Guild Wars 2 photo up. I'll probably pop a picture on the screen, right? And we're back. Hmm. I don't know why I did that. So, yeah, that was honestly EGX in a nutshell. Um, I could have said so much more, but I honestly 
can't think of anything else. Oh, excuse me. So, uh, like I said at the beginning, all the footage is on the flip, which once I get to a computer and edit it, you'll see a full sort of like vlog kind of thing uh, going on. Um, most of the footage isn't that great because I couldn't really film properly because I had so much stuff on me. But maybe next time I'll get a better vlogging setup. So that's pretty much it. On to the second half of the video where I unbox my merch. So I look like Casper the Ghost because uh, I don't know, because it's really bright. Why should I do that? No. Does it make it. Ooh, arm oh, clicked. So welcome. This is my post EGX video of some sort. I've got my uh, stuff here in this bag and we're just gonna go through what I got. So, first off, we have, if I can get everything else out, that's my switch charger. First off, we have what you get for going in. So, we got the map and session guide here. As you can see, a little bit bent up because uh, I kind of neglected doing this, but yeah, this basically just shows you all the stuff at the event, we got merch, which I actually got an offer for while I was there. Uh, you got maps and what time and stuff's on. Also got given this, the Power Up Gaming event. Uh, I know that these are like mirrored or in some sort of some kind or whatever. But uh, yeah, basically it's just a little thing at the Science Museum, which you can go to. And there's a Dreamcast controller on it, which is uh, always a bonus because I love the Dreamcast. Get down to the Science Museum this Easter and catch Power Up, backed by a popular one for a fourth year. I'm pretty sure I've been to this. If it's been on before. Um, I did attend a developer talk, and I did get the uh, code, the Sea of Thieves developer talk. Uh, this is to get all the obsidian items. Um, obviously, it's not you know, scratched off because I kind of want those items, but look, you can see that there's a V in the code. But that code's mine, so you're not having it. Um, as for, like, games, um, I got Hyper Brawl Tournament. I got a little card for that. Uh, that's coming out on Steam, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Hyper Brawl Tournament was a really, really fun sort of football kind of fighting game. I already enjoyed that. I played that with uh, Liam at the Idea Xbox booth. Uh, Circadian City, I got a little flyer for this. Uh, they got a Discord here and just about the game. The game wasn't finished. It was more of like a sort of like tech demo, but it was still pretty fun to just wander around. It was a massive world, by the way. Um, I got a Guild Wars 2 lanyard as you can see, I've got nothing on it yet. And it says uh, Arena Net on one side and Guild Wars 2 Puff of Fire on the other side. Uh, far up on screen now, I've got a uh, picture of me riding on top of a thingy from Guild Wars. Also got some codes and uh, if you can flip this video around, you can actually redeem these because I don't actually uh, play Guild Wars 2. So there you go, there's two free codes. Uh, whoever gets them first, gets them first. Uh, I'm going to have to put Guild Wars 2 giveaway in the description. So you, one of them is for a toy miniature egg, and one of them is for a dragon emblem clothing outfit. So, you know, have fun with that. Um, I also got 20% uh, off merchandise for Guild Wars 2, which I didn't actually use. Alright, um, oh, this was really fun. Uh, I got to play a game... Um, I for the, can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but basically what you do is you, I didn't get any footage of it either, but you hold your phone up and you have to try and match the colour with other phones. Uh, this is the person who made it, her name is Claire Kwong, the artist and developer. There's a Twitter if you can mirror the video, it's at A E R A. Q-U-E-N-A, I'll probably put a screenshot. She also got a website as well. Um, but I do not remember, for the life of me, what 
it was called. Uh, all the footage I got was captured on the flip camera. And if I can hear in here, I think there's one more item of twist. The Breakfast Club sticker. Oh my god, this game was so much fun. So, uh, we all played the Breakfast Club. It's a game where you have to sort of like make toast. <laughs> um, it was honestly really, really fun. I highly recommend it. I did film a little bit of it. So, uh, check that out. And I think that's it. What is this in here? That's my Switch dock, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. So that's all my uh, swag. Uh, most of my friends got a lot of idea Xbox hats and bags, and I'll probably pop a picture of that if I can find one on screen now. But that's my post EGX haul. What was that? That's my post EGX haul while I'm in a hotel room. Uh, you can see what this look at that lovely purple light there. So while I put this all away, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and. I guess I will see you next time I go to a convention and get some swag. Because uh, I'll definitely be going to... I keep hearing noises. All right, I'm, I'm going to go because this hotel room's clearly haunted. I'll see you guys next time I'll go to a convention. I'll tweet it out. And uh, stick around. Maybe you might find me. Meet up, you know. Famous YouTuber. Okay, that's everything. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.